I'd like to continue our header flow testing. This will be part three of the uh, the testing we've done so far with both headers and stock exhaust manifolds for Fiat Spiders. So today I've got uh, two different headers. This one here is a header we make for the uh, Lancia Scorpion. It uses the same twin cam motor that's in the Fiat Spider. And this header here is the header that we make that fits the X19. So you may, may remember in part two, we compared uh, a header that had been modified with a collector that had been shortened uh, to some stock exhaust manifolds that were a four into two into one design and we had put the head pipe on it uh, to show what, uh, if there was any scavenging effect with the stock system. So today I've got two, uh, two headers that we make and I just wanted to show flow testing on these that have uh, complete collectors on them that haven't been modified. So again, we'll, uh, we'll use a vacuum cleaner. We've got it reversed so it's blowing instead of sucking. And we're going to use the uh, carburetor synchronization gauge that shows airflow in kilograms per hour. And as you may recall, it's got this red needle. When you get airflow through this, the needle will run, run from 1 to 30 kilograms per hour. If the needle gets buried below the scale, that means there's pressure there, which means your exhaust system's not flowing. You've got reversion coming back up the other tubes. So let's uh, turn on the vacuum and we'll see what we've got. Okay, so we got air blowing down this tube. As you can see, we've got suction on that, roughly seven kilograms per hour. Uh, similar reading on this cylinder. And similar reading on that cylinder. So we've got a header that's drawing through all four tubes with just flow through one tube. So let's move our system to the X19 and we'll see what we've got here. It's a little hard to get this uh, into the tube just because of the angle. So we've got suction on that cylinder, suction on this cylinder, suction on that cylinder. So that shows that both headers are scavenging pretty well. Airflow down one tube creates suction in the other three tubes, which is what you want it to do. You're going to help draw the exhaust out of the engine so the pistons aren't forcing the exhaust out of the system. So that's how uh, your exhaust system should flow. I encourage you to try this at home. It's a pretty simple setup with either compressed air or a shop vac. And you can do it with tissue paper on each, uh, each cylinder. You don't need a flow gauge to show what kind of flow you're getting through your header. Uh, any kind of light paper will either uh, be sucked down the tube if you have scavenging effect or it'll be blown back out the other way if you got uh, reversion coming up the other tubes. Thanks for watching.